In this video, I'm going to tell you how to nearly double your FPS in Star Citizen with step-by-step -step instructions, guides, and a cheeky little tip hack that's going to get you even smoother gameplay. Seven citizens and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you the best settings and recommendations to get the most FPS out of Star Citizen in 2023. Okay, these are my system recommendations. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend 32 gig of RAM. When I did this type of video originally in 2021, which feels like a lifetime ago, I had 16 gig of RAM, which felt like a lot back then. However, I was advised to try 32 gig and the difference was actually huge. My game got a lot smoother. If you don't have 32 gig, however, then we're going to address this now. Page file or virtual memory. First up, I will be showing you how to do this, but for those that don't know what a page file is, think of this as fake memory. It's not as fast as actual physical memory, but it's a nice overflow to have. If you do have the 32 gig of RAM that I've recommended, then this is not a requirement for you. If you are, however, on less than this, then you need this. But I do want to address a common question that I got in the 2021 video before I switched to actually showing you how to do virtual memory. One common question I got was, what if I only have one SSD? What do I do? So ideally, you want the game and page file on separate SSDs. However, if that isn't possible, and you only have one SSD drive, then just keep them on the same one. Even on the same SSD, this is a better option than loading your game onto the standard hard drive or putting your page file on there if your game is on the SSD. If you're not sure if you have an SSD or a standard hard drive, however, this is actually a really, really easy check to do. Next time you log into Windows or next time you boot up your PC, just check how long it takes to get there. If you get to the Windows login screen or you get into Windows in around 10 to 30 seconds, then you have an SSD. If it takes what feels like forever, and trust me, I remember that, either your system is bogged down with spyware or a virus, or more than likely, you've just got a standard spinning hard drive. In which case, I really do recommend going out and buy an SSD, but I don't think many of you out there now will not have an SSD somewhere. Okay, so now we're gonna take care of your virtual memory or your page file. You're gonna come down to your start button in the corner, you're going to right click, you're going to select system. That will open up this page here, where you're going to select system settings. That will then open up this box over here. In this box here, you're going to start on this page here, which is computer name. Then you're going to select advanced at the top. Then you're going to see performance. You're going to come to the settings option. You're going to click on there. That will then open up this window here, where you're going to click advanced. And at the bottom here, you're going to see virtual memory. Click change which will open up another new window. Select the drive you want to have the page file on. You're going to uncheck this automatically managed page file size for all, dri uh, for all drives. And then you're going to select custom size. I have 16 gig to 32 gig. You don't necessarily need to go that large, but I do like to go overkill on my virtual memory. So that's what I've got. Then you click set. Then you click OK. Then OK then OK, and that's your page file done. For other system recommendations, there is a link in the comments below to the CISG matrix, which you can actually pair your CPU and your graphics card up, and it will tell you your expected FPS. But don't trust this fully. It does sometimes tell you, and sometimes I do mean always, a higher FPS than you will actually get. But that's where this video comes in. We can beat those rookie numbers, right? Okay, so here I am in the Star Citizen settings menu. First up, resolution. Doesn't make as big a difference as you think it would. Run it in your normal resolution, have a good time. Window mode. Personally, full screen or borderless. The difference is negligible. You'll get slightly more FPS on full screen. Maybe three, four tops. If you're running a bit low on FPS, go full screen. Personally, I prefer borderless. Quality. High is fine. There's not much difference in these other than very high, which does cost FPS. So stick this on high or medium, depending on your system. FOV. 
Whatever floats your space boat, honestly. Motion blur, turn that off. It's horrible. Doesn't have any effect on your FPS though. V-Sync, off. This is explained later in the video. I'm not going to cover it now. Sharpening, doesn't affect your FPS anymore. Compared to 2021, it used to have a big difference. But at best you may, and I mean may, get one or two FPS more. So set it as you wish. Personally, I'd go 100 on this one, just out of habit. But I've also tried it on zero, and it didn't really make much difference. As I said, one or two. Chromatic Aberration. Weirdly, I'm getting really mixed results with this. In 2021, it was 100 all the way. Now, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference at all. Set it to zero and test it. Then set it to 100 and see what works for you. It really does switch up and I can't really tell that there's much of a difference anymore. Not compared to what it was in 2021. In 2023, doesn't seem to make much of a difference. The key one here is volumetric clouds. Set these to medium or off. This one is very important. Very high is just too damn demanding. And how much do you like clouds anyway? It doesn't make much of a difference. Certainly to me anyway. I mean, they look nice, but I mean, the FPS tank is just ridiculous. Turn those things off. It really doesn't add anything to your gameplay other than pretty clouds. So now let's get to the pièce de résistance or icing on the cake. There are some NVIDIA control panel settings that you can change to make this game run smoother. Star Citizen can be a bit of an unoptimized game to play. I'm being polite. It doesn't exactly run the best, so anything we can do to make this smoother with more FPS, the better. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. One key tip though. Your server does make a difference. Sometimes you just get a bad server. Leave and go back in. Heck, I've even had better FPS on Australian servers from the UK. So bonus tip. I know YouTube loves bonus tips. If these settings aren't always hitting home and you're still getting duff FPS, leave your server, change region, go back in. Right, let's get to these NVIDIA control panel settings. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you're actually going to go to your desktop. You are going to right click. You're going to open a video control panel that will take you to this window here. What I'd like you to now do is go to manage 3D settings. Now, there's two ways to do this. The first way is to apply all these settings globally, which is what I'd actually recommend. Or you can actually apply them to the selected program, which is starcitizen.exe. It will actually display as Squadron 42. And there's a couple of settings we're actually going to change in here. Now, there's only a couple you can actually do in the actual game one itself. So what I would actually prefer to do is actually do these globally. They don't have any effect on any other game that you're going to play. So it doesn't really matter. So anyone who's actually said this in my previous video, if you can give me evidence that this changes any other game, then great, because I've not seen it. And I've been running these settings for two years. So. so we're actually in the global settings. There's a couple of things we're going to change in here. Actually, there's going to be four things we're going to change in here. So first thing I'd like you to do is you're going to scroll down and then you are going to find shader cache size. Shader cache size, you're going to set to 10 gig. That's going to be the best number to use. I've tried 100. I've tried less. None of them gave me the same results as 10 gig. Then what we're going to do is you're going to come down to triple buffering and then you're going to turn that on. Then you're going to come to VSync and you're going to set that to fast. And now the last setting you're actually going to change if you want to is you're going to come to power management mode. Now mine is currently set to normal. What we're going to do is set, set that to prefer maximum performance. That is not going to change your temperatures. It's not going to do anything else other than allow your car to actually draw the maximum amount of power that it can. Then once you've done all these, you click apply. Done! Enjoy your extra FPS. Now, in 2021, I was asked why you apply these settings globally and not just to the game itself. And the answer is easy. The shader cache does not appear in individual game options. Why? I have no idea. However, you can apply triple buffering and the vertical sync setting to Star Citizen only and the shader cache globally if that's the way you want to go. Personally, I don't bother. I haven't seen any difference in my performance in any other game with these settings. The only caveat is if you are a content creator, OBS or any other streaming software will not work with these, which is really, really annoying because you have to disable them 
to go in and play the game to record footage. But if you're not a content creator, crack on. It's awesome. So there we have it. Implement these changes and enjoy your increased FPS citizens. It's amazing. It will be smooth and you will have guaranteed increased FPS. Now, you got this far in the video. You clearly liked it. So drop it a like. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? I mean, it's free after all. It doesn't cost you anything. And while you're down there, why not drop me a comment and let me know if these settings worked for you? Because you know they did. So, you fine, fine people, once again, I've been Just Dave, wishing you all fun with your increased FPS and reminding you all to be good. And if you can't be good, be dangerous. <laughs>